NASCAR Now is presented by Klondike. The guy that I feel bad for is Tony Jr. because he gets criticized so badly. And everybody in this room, and some of you have criticized him yourselves, know how smart a guy he is, truly know that he's a good mechanic and, and a solid crew chief. You know, I mean, I could t I'll take the fall. I'd rather be crucified than him because every time I read in the paper that people are on his case, I feel like I'm sending my brother to jail for a crime I committed. And time has run out on Tony Yuri Jr.'s attempts to get his driver to victory lane and into chase contention. Yuri Jr. is out as Dale Earnhardt Jr.'s crew chief. Hello and welcome to NASCAR Now. I'm Nicole Mansky. Speculation that change was coming began earlier this week when team owner Rick Hendrick failed to give Yuri Jr. that vote of confidence. Yuri Jr. has been the car chief or the crew chief for his cousin since 1999, missing only a small part of one season. He will now take on what the team says is a, quote, key role within Hendricks Research and Development Group. Team owner Rick Hendricks says all efforts will now be placed on making sure Dale Earnhardt Jr. lives up to expectations. The pressure that I thought I would have having these guys, you know, I was concerned with having to manage Dale Jr., a superstar. I thought that was going to be the pressure. I never, never thought it'd be a, a, a failing to run good, you know, pressure. This pressure is the worst kind of pressure because the better you have teams do, and then you got a team that's falling behind, then the world feels like you're not paying attention to it. And I take that personally. So we just feel like, I feel like, if, if I shake it up a little bit, everybody will stand up a little bit and i think uh we'll try some new things we'll try some different things and uh, i think we'll all be better off with yuri jr out here's how it's going to look on top of the pit box for earnhardt jr team manager brian whitesell will be the crew chief this weekend at dover some background on whitesell he called the shots for jeff gordon between the departure of ray everham and the introduction of robbie loomis after Dover, the crew chief job will belong to Lance McGrew on an interim basis. McGrew has won in all three of NASCAR's top series, including the Nationwide Series title with Brian Vickers in 2003. Also being made available to Dale Jr., Hendrick's lead chassis engineer, Rex Stump, who is probably best known to fans as the mastermind behind Jeff Gordon's T-Rex car in the 1997 All-Star Race. NASCAR Now lead reporter Marty Smith joins us now. What is the reaction from Dale Earnhardt Jr.? Nicole, you heard in that bite from Rick Hendrick there, his candor. He actually said today as well that it's, quote, the most pressure he's ever felt in racing. So obviously this has permeated the entire Hendrick Motorsports organization. And today, Dale Earnhardt Jr. was in Michigan promoting the race at Michigan International Speedway in a couple weeks. And he addressed the emotion involved in this change. It's really, really hard to, uh, you know, break up that relationship because uh, um, in a perfect world we would be working together and winning races together and we both would be having a lot of fun and enjoying our, our lives and um, that's not been the situation, that's not been the case over the last couple of months and um, basically the entire year has been a real struggle for both of us. Me and him both were very aware over the last four to six weeks that um, our uh, performance was he being heavily uh, scrutinized and, and so we were aware of, of uh, the situation. I mean, this wasn't a real shock, I don't think. Um, but it is tough, you know, because I wanted it to work. And, um, you know, I'm kind of disappointed, that, you know, that uh, we're not going to be able to to continue, you know, what we had planned. You can hear there in Earnhardt's voice that if he had his druthers, he and Yuri would have raced together forever, but it's not working out. As for Yuri Jr., he says, quote, I have mixed feelings and that's just natural, but I enjoy working at Hendrick Motorsports and this is where I want to be. I'll do whatever I can to help all of our teams and try to be a part of another championship. I think a new challenge will be good. Nicole? Well, out with Tony Yuri Jr., in with Lance McGrew, who you spoke with today. What did he have to say? Indeed, I did speak with Lance, and he said a lot of things today, Nicole, but to me, the most poignant thing that he had to say dealt with the way the number 88 was approaching the races. He told me, quote, 
The idea of having a multiple car team is that you can lean on your teammates and you have to be within the same page to get any, any information. A lot of times they weren't on the same page. So that really tells you, Nicole, just how far off the 88 was from the 5, the 24, and the 48. It also makes you think that they'll be making other changes within that 88 team. What did he say in regards to that? Pulled no punches whatsoever, Nicole. He told me that everything and everybody are up for evaluation. McGrew will go into the shop on Monday morning and begin that evaluation. He said the first priority is to get a more cohesive union among the five guys and the 88 guys in that shop. They share a building, and if they want to get to a championship level, they need to emulate what the 2448 shop has done so well. That sounds easy enough, but how do they actually develop that unified approach? A new leadership approach. I think that Alan Gustafson and Lance McGrew will get together and explain to those guys that if they want to compete, they have to work as one union. They have not done that to date, and it's time that they do it. It's much easier said than done, especially when you consider the pressure involved in being Dale Earnhardt Jr.'s crew chief. It is the most pressure-filled job in NASCAR, period. And I asked McGrew if he was ready for that pressure, and he said, I don't know, Marty. I'm not sure about that yet. NASCAR now lead reporter Marty Smith. Thanks, as always. Thanks, Nicole. Ray Evernham spent seven years with Hendrick Motorsports, winning three Sprint Cup Series titles with Jeff Gordon. He is now an ESPN NASCAR analyst. What is your reaction to the change within that 88 team? Oh, Nicole, I think we all knew that it was uh, coming, and I think that it was just a matter of time. You know, Rick Hendrick, I heard him say that he is a fixer. He tries everything he can to fix things before he has to make a change. But uh, when he gets ready, he makes a change and really doesn't look back. We know that you have a relationship with Rick Hendrick. What advice did you give him? Oh, boy, I'd love to be able to give Rick advice. It's normally the other way around. He gives me the advice. But, uh, you know, Rick and I are, are very good friends. We, we, we talk a lot. Um, a lot of the advice that uh, I've given Rick, if it's advice at all, it's, it's like, hey, take care of yourself, take care of your health, and you know what to do. You know, Rick, Rick really knows what to do. And in the end, he's very patient. He's very methodical about what he does, and he's certain before he makes a move. He doesn't make a, uh, a knee-jerk reaction, and he doesn't succumb to pressure from, from the media, from the public, or whoever. So uh, I'm sure this is a calculated move, and it was, Rick really feels like it was best. The crew chief role is obviously something you were very good at once upon a time. Would you have been interested in becoming Dale Earnhardt Jr.'s crew chief? Let me think about that. No. <laughs> you know, my crew chief days are over, and I've said to people, um, I was Jeff Gordon's crew chief, and, and, and I'm so proud of, of that position. I would never go back and be a crew chief for anybody else. Well, when I retired from crew chiefing, I knew I wouldn't go back. It's a much different job than it is today. I, th I really commend Rick for the way that he's doing it, splitting it up. Uh, Lance McGrew and Brian Weitzel, Rex Stump are all great guys. I've worked with all of them, and, and they can spread that load. Um, you know, I've often said that Rick Hendrick is the only guy that could coach me back uh, to go to NASCAR, and if I was to uh, return, uh, I would certainly look at Hendrick Motorsports and helping them in some way, but it wouldn't be as a crew chief. Well, let's go back to Lance McGrew for a second, because he says he wants to unify the 5 and the 88 shop. In your opinion, how long is that going to take? Uh, you know, it, 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 to do it, to start it, it could start already you know it's really a mental process and a philosophy you've just got to get everybody to buy in it's going to take some time to change out if the cars are built different and there's different geometries and uh, just that would be the biggest thing they might have to borrow some cars from the other teams uh, the biggest thing will be getting the hardware sorted out you know you, you walk in the shop and say look we've got to do this and this is going to be the new philosophy and is everybody in or not in well you mentioned brian white so but the third piece to this change is rex stump why do you believe that rex is a significant piece to this puzzle? Uh, Rex was a big, big secret weapon of mine. Rex Stump has been a guy behind Hendrick Motorsports for a long time. He's a great, great thinker. He's probably the best vehicle dynamics engineer I've ever worked with, and he knows how to communicate. He understands what people need. He knows how to communicate uh, with a, a race driver and a crew chief. It's tough sometimes for engineering people to walk in both worlds, the race world and the engineering world, and Rex has always done an excellent job at doing that. Well, coming up, Ray will join us one more.